Hello and welcome to my lecture today about the new James Webb Space Telescope. Soon the James Webb Space Telescope will be fully operational, and it will be the largest space telescope ever to be made by human hands. If you were amazed by the wonderful images from the Hubble Space Telescope, the images from this new telescope should be even more mind-blowing than the Hubble Telescope and allow humans to see even deeper into space than ever before because the James Webb Space Telescope is said to be at least 100 times more powerful than the Hubble Telescope. Let me say that again, 100 times more powerful than the old Hubble Telescope. The James Webb Telescope will most certainly help astronomers and scientists study the furthest reaches of the universe better than ever before and in much greater detail. Even armchair space and astronomers will benefit from this new telescope when the images become available to be seen and enjoyed by everyone. Just think of the awesome possibilities this new space telescope has to offer. The new Webb Telescope would be able to detect distant solar systems and may be able to resolve individual planets orbiting distant stars that is simply not possible with current telescope technology. For example, to detect planets orbiting stars today, astronomers have to use the Wobble method, where movement of a star is detected based on the gravitational pull of an accompanying orbiting planet, or planets, or using the transit method, for changes in the light output from a star changes as a planet orbiting the star blocks out some of the light from the star as seen on Earth. However, this method does not work if the plane of the orbiting planet does not pass between its star and to be visible here on Earth. However, with a telescope of much greater power and resolution that the James Webb Telescope would offer, the ability to find planets orbiting distant stars would be more accurate and reliable if the planets could be actually seen to verify their existence. Of course, data now available from using the Wobble or Transit methods to help find planets could be used to get the James Webb Telescope off to an excellent start and allow the new telescope off to get started in exploring the universe and providing wonderful new astronomical discoveries. The James Webb Telescope would also help explore the universe in search of new worlds and even life in the universe. With the greater power of the James Webb Telescope, distant planets could be explored, and may reveal the existence of advanced civilizations on distant planets, especially if evidence construction of cities can be seen on distant worlds. Now I want to tell you about how Robot Varnak can help market your product or service. Robot Varnak offers a unique way to deliver your message about your product or service. Please contact Robot Varnak for more information. The James Webb Telescope is expected to be launched into space on December 18, 2021. When it becomes fully operational the telescope will certainly change the world of science and astronomy when people from all walks of life will be able to see the universe as never before. Scientists around the world agree that the James Webb Telescope changes astronomy. From Galileo first peering through his telescope and being amazed at what he seen so long ago, to the expected images from the James Webb Telescope, reflects the development and advancement of astronomy over the centuries. As soon as the Hubble Telescope was first launched in the 1990s, scientists wanted to have something bigger and better, especially when the Hubble first returned poor quality images when it was first launched. However, after the Hubble was repaired, and better images were seen, scientists realized that an even bigger and more powerful space telescope would provide even better resolution for even more distant objects that even the Hubble could not provide. For example, after the famous deep field image, where the Hubble telescope stayed focused and collected light on one tiny spot of the universe and retained an image featuring many thousands of stars and galaxies, scientists realized the benefits that an even more powerful space telescope could provide to see deeper and further back in time than ever before. Of course, the James Webb telescope was not without its own problems. It was first expected to enter service in 2010 and cost around $1 billion, but its budget went well over $10 billion, and it was still not ready for service, until a decade later. The James Webb Telescope will be better than the Hubble in many ways. It will let astronomers see farther out in space and thus back in time. It will show the earliest stars and galaxies in the universe. Scientists will be able to study planets orbiting faraway stars and thus search for possible life on those planets. 
The Webb telescope will allow astronomers to see distant objects as they many billions and billions of years ago. Many people ask, why orbiting space telescopes are needed? The main problem with Earth-bound telescopes is atmospheric pollution and light pollution. Atmospheric pollution or airborne dust and chemical pollution causes distortion in images from telescopes, in some cases making the images useless. Light pollution from sources right here on Earth overpowers the very faint light from distant stars and also makes the resulting images weak and washed out, or virtually worthless for important work involving high-level scientific research and analysis. With increased human development around the world, it is getting harder and harder for scientists to find good locations for Earth-bound observatories where light pollution and atmospheric pollution is not a problem. For example, increased development around the famous Mount Wilson Observatory is starting to cause light pollution for the famous 200-inch telescope, so outer space really is the final frontier for space exploration, not only for space travel, but for telescopes as well. Perhaps with space travel becoming more common, and development planned for the moon, scientists would be able to build an even larger and more powerful observatory on the moon, which could someday surpass even the James Webb Telescope, which follows in the path of improved human scientific development. Just think of how far humans have come from when Galileo first peeked at the universe from his first telescope. Thank you for watching my lecture today. Please subscribe and return again soon for more unusual lectures.